The next topic is to solve system of linear and nonlinear equations. Uh, sorry, over its inequalities by graphing. Now, here you must be thorough with the previous topics, that is, the standard form of parabola, hyperbola, ellipse. You know, you must be thorough, and the circles is also there. You must understand, when you look at an equation, you must know which equation it is. Then, if you know that, if you understand that thoroughly, you do not need to do the long method, all the graphing with the x points, y points, table method, no need. I will tell you a shortcut method. Since over here it's the seventh topic, you have the MCQs, the options will be given. By looking at the options, you can easily deduce the answer. So now one, one thing before we start, you, you should see, you must realize that whenever x squared plus y squared is greater than or equal to, that means it's radiating outside. Greater means out, more okay all outside if this was less than or equal to then it would have been inside if this was less than or equal to everything would be inside the shaded region would be inside now over here it's greater than see over here it's greater than this is a circle it's going out whereas this is less than that would mean this region inside over here so from this circle all part outside and in this ellipse all part inside would be the shaded region but that is just the shaded region that's simple but what about these equations the first equation is very easy it's a circle isn't it when you look at it you will understand it's x square plus y square greater than or equal to i'll just take it as equal to for now equal to six square the root of 36 is six square very simple now that means the center is 0 and 0. See the center of the circle is 0 and 0. Radius is 6. 2, 4, 6. Yes, this is correct. Now, what about the other uh, equation? When I look at it, I'll realize I realize this. This is not hyperbola because it's plus. If it was hyperbola, it would have been minus. Now, here I can easily understand that this is ellipse because it's plus but the, there's one problem over here this is divide uh, this must be 1 not 36 so what happens I'll basically divide this by 36 everywhere what I'm saying is I'll divide this by 36 36 36 now let me simplify it'll be x squared by 36 instead of 36 I'll write 6 squared if you remember the standard formula x squared by a squared plus 9 and 36 simplifies it'll be y plus 6 the whole square divided by 4 is sorry 2 square less than i'll write equal just equal to over here 1 36 by 36 is 1 so this is the standard form now if you have the standard form it is very easy to graph now let's see the center x doesn't have anything so it's 0 what is over here Plus 6 means change the sign to minus. It will be minus 6. Okay. Now you can see 0, comma, minus 6. This is the particular point. Okay. So far so good. What next? Over here, A value is the major axis. A squared. Major axis is 6. That means this length from the center to the uh, vertex will be A. That is 6. 2, 4, 6. Yes, it's correct. And the co-vertex, the above the other minor axis will be 2 and it's yes over here you can see it's either 2 up or down that's the thing so this is how we can deduce and come to know which is the correct uh, equations i mean the figure uh, graphs so this is the graphs but you know what there might be another option with the same graph but the shading region might be this inside over here this might be shaded how do we know which is the correct shaded Look in the graph. x squared plus y squared is greater than or equal to 36. That means it's outside. Okay, everything is outside. So this outside over here. And over here it is less than or equal to 36. So that means in the ellipse it's all inside. So this would be the overlapping region. See, whatever is shaded. Yes, this is correct. It can't be over here because it goes outside. Only this is the correct answer. Similarly, you can solve the others. I won't solve all over here, but 
I'll just tell you over here to this is again an ellipse but how do you simplify it divide everything by 56 56 and 56 over here so over here it'll be four ones are it'll be 14 over here again one and over here it'll be four and again it'll be one so the answer is x square divided by square root 14 plus uh, over here why I'm, why I'm doing square root is to get the a value but this value of square root 14 it's over here 3.74 so i'll write it as 3.74 over here one minute that is 3.74 the whole square then plus y square divided by instead of 4 i will write 2 square equals 1 this is the standard form of this particular ellipse let us check this major axis over here this is a horizontal orientation major axis 3.74 1 2 3 and it's 7 5 or 7 4 so this is 3.74 correct co vertex it should be 2 1 sorry 1 and 2 this is the thing now all you need to do is see where is the graphing now over here we know for this circles or hyperbola it is within this region so yes it's inside but what about the other one this is a parabola but you can see x over here x greater than y square okay if it was x greater than y squared be right side this is the horizontal parabola but since this minus sign is there you can take the minus to the other side it will change its orientation it will be left side if it was plus this would be right now it's minus so it's left now over here you must be very very careful whenever you have x is greater than y square or y is greater than x square the a graphing if it was like this the graphing would be inside now over here it's like this it'll be inside over here so the graphing is inside which is the overlapping region inside over here and inside of the ellipse that is the answer this is again same this is but hyperbola you can see it's minus so when you uh, simplify it, it'll be hyperbola this is ellipse just like what we have done just now you can solve it and look over here now y is greater than x squared so in this particular region it's inside because it's greater and x is greater again it's inside this both it's inside see it'll be inside this and inside this so this will be the overlapping region if this was less than then everything outside this and if it is greater than or equal to it'll be solid line greater than is just a dashed line so please solve it by yourself and then check for the answers. You can easily solve them up. Over here you can see the circle which is outside and ellipse is inside and this is how we can solve it. Try to solve all into standard form and then graph them easily. See which is the correct option among the four options given to you. There are a few more cases where the absolute value can be asked. In this case over here, absolute value function is there. Now, again, it is very simple. You need to find the center. So whatever is outside the absolute value is for the y-axis. What is this? Plus 2. So that means 1, 0, 1, 2. So the y-value will be somewhere over here, the vertex. Now, what is the x-value? x-value is whatever is inside the absolute. That is the two dashes, you know. So this is the magnitude symbol or absolute symbol. So whatever is inside over here, if it's minus 2, you need to take it as plus 2. So the x value is not minus 2, it's 1, 2, plus 2, this. Y is over here. So this is the vertex. This is how we understand. And now this sign tells us where it opens up. It's going upwards or downwards. It'll always be 45 degree when the slope is 1. Now since over here this minus sign, it'll open downwards. And over here, you can see y is less than or equal to so. All the values below. See, now, for uh, if it's a linear or absolute value equation, it is very simple to understand. y is less. Less means down. Okay? All downwards. And this over here is an ellipse. But it's uh, it is a vertical ellipse. 
and now we it's less than so everything that is inside so all values inside it so this is the re, uh, this is the solution region similarly you can try the remaining over here it's straightforward see this x value y value is minus six it's minus two four six and x value is positive two so it's over here this is the vertex and then you can easily solve even if it is big over here you can just take it to the other side simplify and solve you'll be able to solve or if it is a quadratic function say for example this one there are many ways to uh, solve this graph uh, some of the ways is just understanding a parabola or now i'll take this to the other side okay so it'll be x square plus then uh, 12 x this will become minus so it'll be plus 24 over here remaining and you can divide all the things by 2 or minus 2 so it'll be minus this over here divided by 2 and divide by 2 now over here you can go to mode 5 and 3 and solve this equation and you will get these x values over here so you will get the solution region so this is one more method to check your exact parabola whichever uh, you have already known the graphing so whichever is easy just do the graphing method and there are some cases over here where you will have no solution say for example the uh, center over here is 0 and 0 and the center over here it is x is plus 6 so 5 6 this is 6 and uh, sorry y is 6 and x is 2 1 2 so this is the vertex they and the graphing y is greater so it goes above and over here circle it's inside so that means there is no part of the graph that touches there's no overlapping region so there is no solution these are the cases even over here there is no solution because you can see the vertex over here and over here they, they will not touch each other so these are the cases please make sure you uh, understand the equations thoroughly and then graph them and see where is the solution region if they overlap this is the solution if it does not touch each other then there will be no solution